Today, we delve into the concerning issue of online speculation surrounding Kate's health and the challenges faced by the palace in managing the situation. Joining me today is Rebecca English, a seasoned royal correspondent with over 20 years of experience. Rebecca, the online buzz surrounding Kate's health has reached unprecedented levels, causing shock even among seasoned courtiers. Can you shed light on the magnitude of this situation? Rebecca, absolutely. What we're witnessing is, in the words of a well-placed royal insider, utter madness. Despite Kensington Palace's plea for privacy regarding Kate's unexpected abdominal surgery, the internet, especially platforms like X, Instagram, and TikTok, has become a breeding ground for harmful speculation and baseless rumors. It's disheartening to hear about such baseless claims. How have these rumors evolved, and what impact are they having on the royal family? Rebecca, the speculations range from the absurd, like a supposed Brazilian but lift, to more sinister claims, including false reports of Kate being in a coma. What's truly troubling is that some trolls go to great lengths, creating disturbingly realistic fake images to support their malicious posts. This toxic environment has even crept into more reputable commentary, affecting the public's perception of the situation. How has the palace responded to this onslaught of rumors, especially in comparison to the approach taken with other recent health crises? Rebecca, interestingly, the palace's response has been marked by silence, adhering to the never complain, never explain mantra. While this is an understandable attempt to protect Kate's privacy, it has inadvertently allowed the darkest corners of social media to flourish. In contrast, updates about the king's health have been regularly shared, presenting a difference in handling these matters between Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace. It seems like a delicate balance between privacy and public perception. How is this affecting Prince William and Kate personally? Rebecca, it's evident that both William and Kate are angered and deeply upset by this situation. Their focus remains on their work and family, but the incessant speculation is testing their commitment to the never-complained, never-explained approach. The challenge lies in the ever-evolving media landscape, especially with the unregulated nature of the internet and social media. Given the current scenario, what options does the palace have in managing this issue? Rebecca, the dilemma is palpable. On one hand, maintaining silence seems to be the chosen path, but as the speculation intensifies, some suggest that a more proactive communication strategy could have been beneficial. The difficulty lies in not succumbing to the pressure from a particularly toxic online environment while still acknowledging the public's genuine concern. Thank you, Rebecca, for shedding light on this concerning issue surrounding Kate's health. As we navigate the evolving dynamics of the media landscape, the royal family faces new challenges in maintaining a delicate balance between privacy and public perception. We'll continue to follow this story closely.